It's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Time for race four on the card. The first leg of Jackpot One race four goes off at 10 past two over 1200 meters. Ugu Woman Foundation maiden plate. And at the time of recording, there is one scratching, and that's of horse number nine, Jungle Junction. But before we discuss the running of race four, we have, an in, we have interviews lined up. But before that, there's a replay of Greyview when finishing second. And then interviews with Shane Humby, Sean Veal, Tony Riverland, and Duncan Howells. Coming to the 200 meter mark now, Mr. Maloney, high legislation, New Orleans. Greyview is still there, Raven Sword on the outside. That's wide open, but Mr. Maloney hit the front. Down the inside, New Orleans, the outside, Greyview. And it's New Orleans on the inside, Mr. Maloney, the outside, and Greyview. They hit the line, Mr. Maloney wanted. Close for second, Greyview, New Orleans involved, then Intrepid Act. Interesting runner, shows a lot at home. Um, probably going to want a bit further as well, and I expect him to still be green. His debut he was a little bit green. I'm expecting a much improved run this time around. Uh, Captain Reckless, a nice sort of a horse, and uh, he's drawn very wide. So on this, on his out, first time out, he'll probably need his first run. A little hiccup in his uh, preparation. We've had these temperatures going around. Unfortunately, he had it. So I think in this case he'll need the run. Yeah, he's returning from a rest. Um, he's a horse with very limited ability, unfortunately. But we want to give it a try and keep going for two or three more runs. And obviously if he doesn't improve, um, we will then make a decision, Mrs. Lally and myself, and decide what to do with him. Um, I think 1,200 is also a bit on the short side, but I just, it's a very heavy horse, hard horse to get fit. And so I didn't want to stretch him in distance too far first time back from a rest. Well, we saw the replay of Greyview when running second to Mr. Maloney. Mr. Maloney and New Orleans have obviously come out to win from that form line, Graham. And speaking of air, we are happy to just go with horse number 11, Greyview, and the 13, Raven Sword, in terms of jackpot and pick sixes. In that rerun, obviously, Raven Sword was also in the same race, finished about three lengths behind Greyview, but that was Raven Sword's debut, so there could be any amount of scope for improvement. Uh, Greyview does obviously have the experience of, of running at Hollywood Bets uh, Gravel, whereas Ravensword comes to the track for the first time. But I think they do stand out. We saw uh, Global Secret eventually get it right the other day, and I was very much in her camp. I think it could be a similar situation here with Greyview. She's had many, many opportunities, obviously. She's very well exposed. We understand her limitations, but the form of that last run, as you mentioned, is good. Mr. Maloney came out and won again, first up in handicap company, third on that day was New Orleans, that came out and won. Marcus gets a ride, yes, Warren Kennedy's jump ship, which makes it interesting, from Greyview to Raven Sword, uh, but uh, certainly Gavin's got Anton to ride, so we've got Anton Marcus, Warren Kennedy, the two top jockeys, or two of the top jockeys, riding Greyview and Raven Sword. This pick six, you've got to go light in my view, you've got to go light in legs one, two, and three, and then you've got to start loading up in legs four, five, and six. So I'm going to go just with Greyview and Raven Sword. Yes, I'm in full agreement with you on that. The latter part of the car does look to be a lot uh, trickier than this early part. So I'm like you, I'm happy to go with 11 Greyview and the 13 Raven Sword in terms of pick six and jackpots. And if we were to get a surprise winner, I think it could possibly be from the first timer. Well, Angel in the Sky, number three, obviously we don't really have to worry about the first timers as far as the pick sixes are concerned, very well bred. And then obviously another day in Africa, and as we heard there from Shane Humby, American Dream might want a little bit further, but a pleasing debut, plenty of scope for improvement. But you've got to take a view, and I'm taking a grey view. Well, you've heard it from Graham and myself. We're going to go with horse number 11, grey view, and the 13, Raven Sword. <laughs> I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds, it's in your account. 